This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So you and AJ finish up your run in TNA with three matches, and we're going to break them down together here, Kurt. It's Slammiversary. We're going to fast forward it a year, 2013. You defeat AJ in Boston. At this point in time, did you know AJ was on his way out of TNA? Yeah, I know they weren't, you know, he wasn't happy with the deal they structured in TNA, the contract. Uh, TNA didn't want to pay him what AJ felt he deserved to be paid. And uh, so they were at odds, and it's unfortunate. Uh, all right, let's check out uh, this clip. It's June 2nd, 2013, Slammiversary. To the ankle lock. <laughs> Going for it again. Wow. Calf killer, you can sense that Kurt's on the verge of tapping. Is he going to do it? Oh, but Angle, so much pride. That's the last thing he wants to do. Well, let us counter, man. Oh. Let us counter. Angle's got him, center of the ring, AJ, trying with everything he's got to make it to the ropes, can he do it, inches away, oh, Angle pulls it back out, scissors the legs, yeah, Angle's got that leg pull up, he's got a tap, AJ's got a tap here, you can sense Styles fighting through the pain and he almost tapped right there, this will shorten your career, you better tap AJ, look at this, AJ rolling through and now just, just like axe kicks to the knee, Able to free himself again. Look like I, maybe the knee, but looked like he was trying to break the grip. I thought those axe kicks were in the hand of the knee. I, I, maybe you're right. Whatever it was, it was effective for AJ. I thought he was attacking the grip. Regardless, he got out of the hold. I'll tell you what. How badly do these two want to win this match? Oh, you could sense that. You kidding? Me? <laughs> So much pride between these two, so much history, and another classic encounter here tonight at Slammiversary. And now think about, oh, oh, think about oh, Kurt. Just went oh, shoulder first into oh, the steel oh, post oh, and oh, now hung up in the corner. How about his knee right now? How's that doing? Oh! That was abdomen, but his knee was well, hung up there. All his ligaments and his cartilage in his knee must have been pulling apart and stretching. Then he locked onto his target and fired with that big drop kick in the corner. What a match. What can AJ what can AJ do to try and put him away here? Just though? imagine how successful AJ would be if he would have joined us in Ace of Snakes. I mean, really, I, I, all the great stuff he's doing in this match, AJ, if he would have came with the family, if he would have came with the club. You got it. Here it is. AJ now out to the apron with Kurt down. Springboard a third time, and Angle Ooh. rolls out of the way. Look for that 450. Look at this. Roll up by Angle now. Quickly, Kurt goes to the offense. What a beautiful counter to the angle slam. Gets the double leg, does stacked angle. Up. He's got him stacked up. Your winner, Kurt Angle. Hey, listen, it's real simple in my book. No matter what you do in that ring, you can do every kind of high flying, high spot in the world and do all this amazing athleticism. We win. Kurt, what do you think of that one? That's uh you look first of all, you're not working on the movie Warrior anymore. You're filled out and you're looking tan <laughs> like you were just at the beach or Look something. A little bit better. <laughs> yeah. But what a match. And uh, I didn't even recognize the voice of one of the TNA commentators. I, I didn't know who that was. It wasn't uh Mike Tanay. Tanay was there and somebody else, but there was an, another Taz. voice calling play by play. Taz was there, but there was a third man that I did not recognize. But that's ne neither here nor there. Uh, honestly, you and you and uh, AJ, uh, another classic match. Just a few nights later, you would defeat him again in the Bound for Glory semifinals, which will be the last TNA TV match that you two have together. That's it. That closes the the TV story on it's Kurt a Angle. Sad state of affairs. It is because it's such classic wrestling between between the two of you. Is AJ once again? I'll ask this at this point because this is a few years later. Is he coming to you for advice? Is he discussing his contract negotiations with TNA? What is he sharing with you about all that's going on in his life? AJ didn't really come to me and ask any questions. Uh, if he would have, I would have given him great advice. Uh, I felt that AJ needed to spread his wings. Um, I know he wanted to stay in TNA, but they didn't want to give him the deal that he wanted. Uh, so he was uh, 
going to be off and running and uh, trying to make his real dream come true of being in WWE eventually. So I think this was a great time for him to go ahead and do that. And I think that what he did was the right move. And now here he is in WWE kicking ass and taking names. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.